Hello everyone, welcome back to Rally's Latest GC, your home of news and politics. Thank you so much for joining. If you are joining this channel for the very first time, please kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. The headlines. There has been a worsening security crisis in Edo State. But guys, before I bring the images to you, I would like to welcome all my amazing subscribers and viewers. Thank you so much for joining us on today's wonderful news. So my people, let's dive into the images. My people, there has been a worsening security crisis in Edo State. Those who conspire with the Inspector General of Police to ban Edo State Security and Vigilante Network for political reasons are now ashamed to tell Nigeria the level of worsening security crisis in Edo State. The ban has exposed that the Edo State Security and Vigilante Network was more effective than the Nigeria police in terms of crime control in Edo State. So the reality is that the police are helpless in crime control in Edo State. Hey, by Pudobiswa Wala. You guys can recall that before the September 21st Gunship election, the Inspector General of Police, Kayodo Botoko, announced a ban on the activities of the Edo State Security Network. The presence of the network has helped reduce the crime and criminality since their creation in Edo State. So right now, my people, <laughs> so many persons don't come out scorn their appeal to the Inspector General of Police as a matter of urgent security importance to restate a date for the resumption of the suspended local vigilante. The suspension of which was due to the election, which is now concluded. They said the IGP of police was fast to respond to the ban of the Edo State Security Vigilance Network. But now, he <laughs> don't slow down to stop the worsening security crisis in Edo State. My people, the same people who almost ate Governor Governor Basaki Raw for banning the Community Development Association are the same people blaming Governor Governor Basaki for not declaring war on courtes in Edo State. The same people who led all sorts of allegations against the Edo State Security Vigilance Network. <laughs> Just to get them disbanded are the same people crying that Edo is becoming a blood zone. My people, hey, the matter can't get a CB. Now, don't know they tell they say, may they not cry too much. May they just call on the APC, the Inspector General of Police, the Edo State Commission of Police, and those that were sending their men after PDP members before and during Edo 2024 election to act on the worsening security situation in Rio and Edo State. Because Governor Gordon Obasi can not do anything again. Because <laughs> now the same people will be say they nearly want chop Governor Gordon Obasi for inventing the Edo State Security Vigilance Network. Now them still no one act on the worsening security crisis in Edo State. Donald Stock say if Governor Gordon Obasi come out now can't give marching order against those disturbing the peace of the state currently. Say now the same people calling him out for being calm will still be the first to accuse him of not going after the courtes. So during the last government election, members of the opposition refused to support his party's candidates. They deployed federal might through the person of IGP and exposed the state to security threats and criminality by the ban imposed on Edo State Vigilante. Now, the boys who have been brilliantly engaged in maintaining peace have been carelessly let loose. So this contributes to the high level of insecurity in Edo State. My boy, that is not all. In its confederal conspiracy, they are observing the new trend of Fulani invasion of Isakon land, especially around Eginobode and not Ibe, Okbala Aziz of Isakon is. So a lot of them are worried and they are praying for collective and individual action to stop this ugly situation before it gets out of hand. The recent kidnap of a reverend father this weekend and a call for help by a farmer are just some of the many stories in that area. Now God go help them because clearly the constitution permits states to establish security outfits to assist in maintaining law and order, provided this outfit complement rather than conflict with federal agencies. The Edo State Vigilante Service was created by Edo State House of Assembly to address local security challenges. So in other words, the Edo State Vigilante Service was established through legislation passed by the Edo State House of Assembly and assented to by Governor Gordon Barsiki. So this legislative process is consistent with the constitutional provision, allowing states to create their own security frameworks. The creation and operation of such state-level bodies are thus constitutionally sanctioned, provided they operate within the boundaries of the law. So the jurisdictions and operational scope of the Edo State Vigilante Network is well-structured. 
they operate within the state's jurisdiction and aim at addressing local security issues. The state has the right to create institutions that addresses specific local need, which is a constitutional power afforded to it. So consequently, the role and powers of the Inspector General of Police are clearly defined. The Inspector General of Police, as the head of the Nigeria Police Force, has authority over federal law enforcement activities. However, this authority does not extend to overriding state laws or state-sanctioned security outfit unless such outfit are in direct conflict with federal laws or national security interests. But the limitation on prescription focuses on federal security service. The Inspector General of Police does not have the constitutional authority to unliterally prescribe a state-sanctioned security outfit like the Edo State Security Vigilante Network. Prescription would typically require legal proceeding and justification under both state and federal laws. So any such action would need to demonstrate that the outfit operation are illegal or detrimental to national security and they would likely require legislative or judicial intervention rather than on literally action by the Inspector General of Police. So the balance of power between federal and state authorities necessitates respect for the jurisdictional boundaries and legislative framework established by the Nigeria constitution. So if Nigerians could recall the NSAS protest in October 2020, when it resulted in the escape of over 2,000 inmates from prison across Nigeria, and those states experienced a sharp increase in criminal activities, including rape, armed robbery, burglary, and theft. This surge was exacerbated by pre-existent crime in the United States, such as land grabbing, courtism, and the now at large activities of community development association. So this was compounded by the activity of non-state actors known as Lion and Tiger, who are sponsored by politicians. They are used as political talks during election. So I mean the setbacks, the federal government security agencies who were already strained became even more handicapped and were unable to effectively manage the escalating crime and criminality in the states. This led the state government, in collaboration with the security agency, to rethink the security architecture, leading to the establishment of the Edo State Security Vigilante Network, a group of young men and women volunteers dedicated to support the security agency in tackling crime and criminality in Edo states. So my people, the result of this community-based security model have been remarkably positive as the state has not only recorded a tremendous drop in the rate of crime, but as today become one of the safest and most secure to live and do business. So curiously, in the last couple of weeks, I mean the build up to the Edo State Governorship election slated for September 21st, there have been consistent efforts by the All Progressive Congress to blackmail and discredit this novel intelligence gathering and security outfit and the forcefully pin crime orchestrated by the APC on the Edo State Security Vigilante Network. So it is therefore crucial that Edo people remain vigilant and they should refuse to watch the APC destabilize the state security. Considering the essential role of the Edo State Security Vigilante Network in maintaining peace and security in Edo State, the Edo State Security Vigilance Network must be protected and supported, ensuring that their work and sacrifice are not undermined by the machinations of the APC and their loyalties. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, opinions in our comment section. We'd love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us.